folks, welcome back to Good Enough Customs. So, uh, you know, last week, I took the week off. It was much needed. Um, didn't stay out of the shop, still did stuff in the shop, just had other stuff not automotive related to do. So, uh, this week, we're going to jump in on the Blazer. And uh, we're going to take a look at the tail pan and see what's going on there. Uh, we already know it's got rust, it's got to have some stuff cut out. Um, I need to figure out how far that rust goes up underneath these side stakes, the stake pockets over here on the side. Which technically, it's not a stake pocket now, but anyways. <laughs> so I gotta figure out what's going on there, and then we need to take a look up here at this, this head panel for the bed, where uh, it's rusty as well. Um, unfortunately, this week's probably gonna be a little short. Uh, you know, uh, me and Jackson both ended up catching some Really terrible stomach bug, which totally ruined sleep. <laughs> so, stop pooping. So, anyways, it was a rough one to say the least. Um, so, don't have a whole lot of time today, mainly because I slept in much later than I usually do, and then after that I took a nap. So, uh, <laughs> so hopefully I can get my sleep schedule back on on uh, schedule. Does that make sense? Sure. But uh, we went through this morning, got a bunch of crap cleaned up. We had a bunch of stuff scattered all around. So we're fixing to move the truck out over this way. So we got room to work and uh, we're going to get to it. So uh, I guess we'll catch up with y'all here in just a jiff. All right. So we got the truck pulled out and uh, we're sitting here just kind of looking, figuring, trying to figure out best plan of action. So as a refresher here's what we got tail pan we've got a lot of really bad rust here like it's split all the way back up into here and get in there a little closer i guess so you can see it's got a little hairline fracture that runs it's on up in this way we got this big hole and lots of scale lots of weak metal another big hole here lots of pitting um so when i go to cut this i'm probably going to come i'm actually probably going to come clear over here somewhere depending on what this metal looks like below it um i may go this side I, I, it's going to be somewhere in this general area where i'm going to end up cutting at um then we'll go to cutting down here i'm going to cut down below this rust which isn't too terribly far but if you notice it goes way over into this corner don't mind that piece that's part of the floor which is actually under this piece so we've got this piece of the floor here that needs to come out um i've got to cut plumb over to here because that's how far my rust is going i may not have to cut all the way over here i'll know a little bit more the further i get into it but uh uh but yeah so we've got rust coming over to here which concerns me because i'm wondering if we've actually got rust back up underneath this guy so that's kind of where the big huh is and it looks like we do because like i said this is part of the floor this piece this little flat straight edge right here that's part of the floor this piece i need a pointer of some sort hang on a second i've got my pocket knife so this guy right here this is part of the floor and then you can see this big chunky chunky fella right here um that's going to be part of the tail pan which you know used to be all in here so that's how bad it scaled so my concern is is that it's rusted up underneath so once this gets cut out we'll probably be able to see a little bit better uh here in a second i'm gonna go down below and go from the underside and see what we can see there so i'll join back with you here in just a moment all right so now we're on the bottom side so ah, you can see my holes where we're rotted up and it looks like at least from this angle we've got uh, uh we've got this little section right here i can't quite point because <laughs> it's a little tight up there so you can see the uh the old wasp nest in the hole which would be this you know quote unquote stake pocket um that looks pretty good and it looks pretty good out this way i see a little bit of surface rust there but nothing nothing that's gonna you know kill me so uh so i think what we're gonna do we're gonna, we're gonna do some cutting on the top side and get that rust out and then we'll just make a judgment call from that point so it's good to know that uh, 
it's good to know that it's still solid over here, which is the part I'm concerned with. Yeah, get that out of there. And we got more right there. Yay. Um, but yeah, this section right here is solid, and that's the part I can't see from the top side. So we'll have to cut. It'll have to end up being cut underneath. You can see the pillar right here. So we'll end up having a steel cut up underneath it. I'm not sure how we're going to do that, but we'll figure it out. So here on the driver's side, um, we got a little bit more scale over here. Um, definitely a heavier scale. Um, so we're going to cut this part out as well. So we're going to go a lot further in over here on the driver's side. So we'll probably cut this guy plumb over here where it starts getting good. And then we'll come all the way back. And it's pretty crunchy right in here and again back over here underneath where this old floor is because there's part of the old floor uh, and you can kind of see it it's that shiny part right in there so i'm guessing it's probably got some rust up underneath it as well now this whole tail pan piece can come out um that would probably make the repair of it a little bit easier but in order to do that you got to go through and brace everything up because that's what supports the back half of the body so if you take that out the back half of the body's gonna go whoop so we don't want that um so i may be kind of a glutton for punishment here i don't know we'll find out i'm gonna try to do it on the truck rather than taking this thing apart i'd rather not take the truck apart um so we're gonna try doing all this with it on the truck looking at it a little bit further it looks like it shouldn't be a problem to cut and actually go up underneath this piece because even if we go out from underneath it and take that piece of the support away it's still supported by this seam down in here there's a seam there it's got bolts on the back side holding it in and it, you know on this back side of this bolted into lower down on this part and then it's also got bolts on this side on the inside of this that's uh, bolted up so it's all bolted in so even if i take this top piece out this guy should still have plenty of support shouldn't have to worry about it dropping out so uh so that's probably what the game plan is but i want to get up underneath uh, this driver's side and see what it looks like see if it looks the same as the passenger see if it looks worse see if it looks better so let's uh let's take a look at that well not good news because we have rust right in here we have a fair amount right there, all in this back piece. So uh, that's not good. But we're good up here on the top side. It's pretty solid. So I'm not too worried about getting up underneath this guy. Once we cut that top part out, we'll be able to look a little bit closer and see what's going on there. But that little bit right there, that, that doesn't necessarily have to be cut out, but it does have to be addressed. So I'll probably get in there with a wire brush, scraper or something. And try you know hacking that down a little bit and make that see how that cleans up um it's not terrible but uh but it ain't great so uh that may be one of those clean it up best we can and treat it with the poor 15 which all this stuff's going to get treated with poor 15. um the uh the rust encapsulation stuff that they have so uh so that's what we're gonna do there um yeah i guess that's enough of that let's do a little slicing and dicing all right folks so uh i started laying out a tape line i'm gonna cut just below the line here and then right along the line over here um and cut it out right here and i'm gonna go just below you know probably a half inch below the corner here um because that's where the rust stops problem I got this tailgate in the way. There's no way I can get my cutting wheel in there. I mean, I could, but it's going to be at a pretty good angle, and I'd rather have a nice flat spot to be able to get to. Plus, it'd be a lot easier cutting this backside if I can get right up on it. So, uh, so we're going to take off the tailgate. Taking these tailgates off is not the easiest thing in the world. They're heavy. Two-man job unless you uh, don't care about the back glass or you gut the uh the internals of the tailgate um it's not so much that it's super heavy it's just it's it's a lot to maneuver with one person so uh 
so we're going to work on trying to get this tailgate off in the uh, best way possible i've actually never taken one of these tailgates off so looking at it it looks like we're going to pull the bracket out from here uh, there's four bolts back in there so this should just slide right back out same thing on the other side we've also got this tension rod a little torsion bar thing that's held down with a couple of uh bolts here for this little thing bracket um then it goes down and it hooks on what looks like a door striker down on the frame so we're going to pull that striker off the frame um that should allow this guy to flex out and be able to get that back up here i don't know what that means for putting it back together i'm sure it's going to be an absolute nightmare but we'll worry about that when that day comes so i uh, got to get this tension rod off out of play um there are whoops there are a couple of connectors um they have the pigtail down here so pull those guys loose so that way we don't you know rip wiring up and then uh get this guy loose get these four bolts out here you could also take it out here um but then this whole piece is still going to be in the way so i just i just want to get this whole hinge out of the way so plus if i take it out here that means i gotta take this panel off here so i can reach in there and get this you know get everything lined up and get the bolts in whenever it comes time to put it back together gotta do the same thing over there and don't forget about the straps i take these little bolts right here gotta pull them off so that way the tailgate comes loose so we're gonna get to work on that and then we can cut so getting these guys out is a little bit of a chore i couldn't film it it's just too tight in there there's too much going on where these guys bolt up so basically here on the frame rail you got a bumper bracket and then it has this guy poking through so it's actually poking through on this side down below there's a hook at the bottom of this that uh, this guy sits in and it is a chore to get this one out but just three quarter inch uh, uh, nut on the back side get that broke loose I don't know what size that Torx head is I had a 45 in it and it was loose but it was enough to where i could you know get it to break loose and get going so uh yeah i ended up having to take a uh the handle of my socket and pry this guy over so i could get this pulled out of the frame and then drop it out of the way so this guy's free floating so this guy's free floating now so it should be able to just pull up and out um from down here in this little gap and then whenever we go to reinstall it'll just be taking and sliding this guy back down in this little gap and then fighting in the very limited space to put this little striker bolt back in for that guy to ride on so uh now that that's done we've got uh, these guys out right here um now it's time to get these four bolts out that are down in here and uh we'll get that done and since that's done then we'll pull this uh, tailgate off Okay, doke so we got the four bolts out on both sides um i've been using free all on all these rusty bolts that stuff is amazing it's doing a great job it ain't cheap i think it was like 12 or 13 dollars for a can it's cheaper than croil <laughs> uh i haven't used croil mainly because it was like 24 dollars a can and i was like ah I, I can't justify that so uh so using the free all it seems to be doing a pretty good job uh it's not really having any problems with that so highly recommend free all buy some <laughs> does a better job than pb blaster smells a little bit better if you spray a whole lot of it though you're gonna get high but i'm gonna get you high today because it's friday you ain't got no job and you ain't got shit to do you're gonna get high <laughs> so all right so now all that's left is pulling these cables off both sides uh which we've already got those loose and that's just we're going to loosen this little bolt all the way out pull the cable off and uh this thing should come right out so join back up with you here in just a second So much more room for activities. So many activities. 
So now I can get right up in here and get right on this guy. So you can see where we've got some good heavy pitting. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut below that. So we're gonna come all the way back here. And I'm gonna cut, you know, about a half inch down all the way back and across and then back over in this area. So this whole piece is fixing to come out as soon as I lay down another tape line. So I, I have a little bit of a guide so I can make it as straight as I can because uh, ain't nothing worse than getting in there trying to weld up something that's cut all crooked and zigzaggy. I don't, you know, I don't have any experience with that. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna try and make this nice and clean cut. Um, Straightish. Uh, and then I'm gonna lay out tape line over here as well. So that way we can get this guy taped out and get ready to get him cut. And then maybe we'll go up front May not have enough time for that today, but we'll see. So, I got that side pretty straight. That side, not so much. So, yeah, this, this is a little bit more difficult to cut straight because it's hard to get a good angle on it. So yeah, it's kind of mulled out right there. But this one's nice and straight. So now we can kind of see what all's going on down in here. Hang on a second, let me take out my earplugs. So I'm not yelling at everybody. Um, so now we can kind of see what all is going on down in here. So not a whole lot. Got uh, got our mount. Mount for the tailgate. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. There ain't a whole lot going on here. But that is uh, now cut out. And as soon as I figure out what gauge still I need for this, and this looks, this looks pretty thick. It's beefy, beefy. With that being good and beefy, I, I don't, I, I don't have any of this metal here at the house, so I definitely can't. I definitely can't, you know, make a template or take, make a, uh, can't make a patch panel right now because I ain't got this thick of metal here, so I'll have to find some, um, for that. So, yay! So now, just need to get over here and get this side done. So I'm gonna get over here and get that going. Also. Watch out for sharp edges, because I just sliced the absolute crap out of the tip of my finger. And it was on one of these little devils. Devil! Which I should have ground down, but yeah, I know. Why do that when you can risk cutting yourself? So, anyhow, there's that. On to the next. There's this side. Got it all cut out and gone. So that guy's still a little warm. So once again, same thing. We got, uh, you know, of course we got wires that are feeding the brakes, brake lights and all that stuff. And we got a big clump of dirt and sand and crap all up in here. So we'll get in here, clean all this up just to make sure that, you know, she don't rust up no more. Uh, also, I got to go through and clean up these edges because, you know, they're super sharp. But I'm going to let them cool off a little bit because they are really hot. Did a little bit better on this one as far as the uh, 
cut in a straight line they're both a little bit better uh not so much here because i kind of walked out but whatever i can grind that down clean that up so the next thing i need to look at is trying to figure out about what to do up under here because you know we've still got this scaly rust right here um that needs to come out and got to clean up underneath it what i may do i may regret this decision but i'm not going to jump on it today we'll uh, we'll figure this out i'm gonna think about this a little hemming and hawing um go ahead and cut in this because you know it's just metal i can weld it back i'm gonna think on that one for a little bit before i jump in on that so this side is not as bad there's still some flake up underneath there and kind of see a little piece sticking out right there um so i'm not 100 percent sure what i want to do here just yet again probably going to hem and haul and think about this just a little bit before i go you know getting crazy jumping in and doing something that you know i might regret much like replacing the floor <laughs> it'll be worth it when it's done it's just god what a nightmare i just this this oh not high on my list of stuff that i enjoy anyhow <laughs> so i guess what i'm gonna do um is get in here and just you know start cleaning up stuff and uh figuring out what to do and where to go on this so uh so that's that piece um i think i'm gonna hold off on the front for right now uh mainly because uh it's getting a little later in the day and uh i really don't want to get into that can of worms just yet so uh i think i want to only open up one can at a time so i'm gonna fiddle back here him and haul think see what we can figure out so i'll uh, i'll catch back up here in just a moment all right next day another good night of sleep feel a lot better today um definitely getting back to where i should be <laughs> so uh recap from yesterday because i'm not 100 percent sure where i left off um so what we have is we have uh this guy i'm gonna cut see if i can't get a good spot here so i'm gonna cut basically a window right here and see what we can figure out with all this back here see how bad that is um and then i'll probably do the same thing over here and get that sorted out and then uh of course this is sunday so it's my edit day it's also a it's a very short day for me so gotta hustle and get some stuff done so i'm gonna get hopping on that real fast and uh yeah i guess i'll catch you back up here in a minute now we can kind of see what's going on back in there it's uh really dirty so let me get in there and clean that out a little bit this piece right here i was trying to cut a little bit lower but i think i was too low and i was actually into another piece of metal so uh but yeah the bed floor the bed floor definitely goes in a little ways i don't know if it shows up on camera or not very well but there is a line you can see like right right in that area there where uh, that's where the bed floor actually goes to so um let's see yeah so the bed floor goes to right here this piece right here is the bed floor um yeah i'm not sure how i'm going to get that guy out of there but i don't know we'll figure it out so a little more him and hawing and uh I'll, I'll catch back up here in a minute all righty so with this window cut out <clears throat> now i can actually see what in the world is going on yay <laughs> So you can see this is our bed floor, the remaining little bit of it. And it's hard to see, but you can kind of see, so you can see some light coming through right there. Um, so that light right there is where it's actually notched out 
for the bed floor to come through on this piece. Um, and it's the same way over here. It just looks like it's mostly held in with seam seal. So I should be able to knock that out with screwdriver, pry bar, what have you. Um, there were some spot welds here um, that held it onto this piece up here, which, you know, obviously is not there now. Um, so this piece should come on out and then it'll just be cleaning up and I can really see what's going on here with this big old nasty hunk of crap. Um, so I should be able to get this last little piece of flooring out, um, address this hunk of scaly rust right there and see what other, you know, how far in I need to go with the, uh, this tail pan. So next gotta do this side. Yep. So here we see pretty much the same thing. We've got, uh, you can see part of the floor there. Uh, you can still see part of the, the weld that was on it, like right in here. Um, and then a huge glob of freaking seam seal back here. <laughs> they were not shy with that. Good Lord. So, uh, so yeah, I guess next course of action is going to be uh, trying to get the old floor part out. But first, I'm going to have to get out a lot of seam seal on that. So... I don't know what happened there. Driver side or passenger side has hardly any uh, seam seal in it. Passenger side has just mounds of it. So uh, the guy over here, I guess on the line working the passenger side was just like, dude, I don't care. It's Friday. I'm out. You know? <laughs> so that guy was already checked out for the day. So he just didn't give a damn. And the guy over here on the driver's side, I guess he, uh, he lived by, you know, if some is good, more is better. So uh, he loaded this sucker up. So that's going to take a minute to get that stuff scraped out on that side. Uh, so for uh, time's sake, I think we're going to work on the passenger side. It looks to be... Uh... No, I don't even want to say it because I know Murphy's Law is going to kick in the moment I utter those couple words. So I'm not going to say it. <laughs> so, uh, so I guess we're going to try and get this piece of bed floor out and uh that way we can kind of see what else is going on so <sighs> here we go So it's remaining piece of bed floor, not too big a deal to get out, but it does look like there might be a uh, little spot weld right in there and possibly another one right in here. Oop. Possibly another one right in this area. Um, I can kind of feel it with my finger. This side, I can kind of feel it with my finger as well. So I got uh, that blade that I'm using, that screwdriver I'm using to, to, you know, get up underneath here. It's got a pretty sharp tip on it. So I was just trying to cut this in half. So that way I'd have, you know, two small pieces to work with instead of one big piece. So uh, this definitely got a little bit uh, deformed with the bending and prying and knocking and banging. No big deal. That can be straightened back up. So, uh, so it does look like we got a couple spot welds. Um, Yay, spot welds. So, uh, I'm gonna see if I can't bust them. If I, Maybe I ought to go get the drill and try to drill them out. That's probably the smarter thing to do. Probably the smarter thing, go get the drill and just, you know, drill them out. <sighs> I guess that's what I'll do. So, I'll catch back up uh, here in just a few minutes. Oh no! Oh 
no! Yeah. That might not straighten all the way back out. <laughs> Good Lord. Whoops. But you know what? I got a better angle for that uh, big old spot well. So, that's, uh, that got bent up a little bit. So, uh, that's okay, because I'm probably going to have to, you know, I'll probably go ahead and cut this out, just because it is just mangled now. So, I'll probably just take and basically make a cut here, coming over to this hole, and just cut out this piece, and then try to figure out a spot to cut over here. But I'm not gonna do that. That'll probably be something I'll do another day because what I'll have to do is once I take that piece out, this this whole this whole piece becomes a lot less structural. Um, I know that that's probably not offering a ton, but I'm sure that's offering a good bit to maintain the integrity. Because on the other side of that hole, it's only about I don't know an inch, something like that on the other side of this hole. So. I'll take, probably knock that out, and then take this on up and try to, I'll have to get out some of this. There's a little bit more seam cell right there. But you can see right here in this corner, it's pretty rotty. You know, it's it's really pitted. It's really thin in some spots. So I'll probably go ahead and take this on down here and come on up with it and just, you know, make a patch that'll fit this little piece right here. So that's what we're gonna do for that side. So this other side, I'm not quite sure yet, so it's about the same. Um, there's a lot of seam seal on this one, so I'll probably have to heat it up and try to scrape out as much of that seam seal as I possibly can. Um, and I'll probably just use the old uh, air chisel on this one. Um, that seemed to work a little bit better than using the old uh, hammer and big pry bar screwdriver thing. So, uh, yeah. So, I guess I'm going to get to it. Alrighty, so we can see right now those came out pretty easy. I still got the spot, spot weld still in there. Uh, a little bit of metal still attached to it. Same thing over on this side, spot still there, a little metal attached to it, which still attached to this piece and this little bitty tiny piece hanging out here. Problem I'm running into here is like I said, this guy was an overachiever. Apparently that did this side of the truck on the line because you can kind of see right there at the tip of the screwdriver. Try to get it to focus in enough to where you can see it. But you can see right above the tip of my screwdriver there, that's a spot weld. Because there is a piece of metal. And then the floor, the bed floor is here on the bottom. So there's a spot weld there. And there's a spot weld about right there. So, got to cut those spot welds or cut that little bit of metal so I can get the last little piece of metal out. Plus I still gotta get the, uh, get those spot welds knocked down to where, you know, it's manageable. So uh, I guess I'm gonna work on that now. 
You can see this side is a little bit cleaner. You know, it's not super pitted, scaly, anything like that. It's got some pit, but it's not terrible. Um, that'll do okay with a little bit of rust encapsulator. Um, the problem is I'm gonna have to finish getting all of that just gobs of seam seal out of there so we can get up underneath it with the encapsulator. So that way this thing doesn't rot back out eventually down the road. Um, but you can see on this side, those little spot welds really kind of threw me for a loop. This side, I actually cut the bottom lip off. Whoops. Um, that's no big deal. That can get addressed later. But if you look, it's got a little notch there. And it's got another one right there. Can't quite see this one that well. But I'm wondering if those are supposed to be like a little weep hole to let, uh, to let a little, you know, moisture out. I, I don't know. But uh, maybe it's just, I don't know. I don't know, I'll have to do a little digging on that, see if I can't figure out what's going on there. But this is all cleaned up, got the uh, got the rotty rot out. That side, not all the rot's out. I still gotta get uh, um, still gotta get this cut and get that cut, you know, get this little piece out, put a new fresh piece in there. Um, went through and I ground down all of these just a little while ago off camera. Got tired of cutting myself. Um, <laughs> so now these edges are a different story. I hadn't done anything with these yet. So they're, they're still nice and filet like, but, uh, anyhow, I got all that cut out. So, uh, the, the back end is pretty much ready to start putting back together. You know, mine is that little piece back there, but, uh, but I am flat out of time. It's, uh, it's Sunday. It's edit day. So, uh, uh, so I'm, I'm out of time on this for this week. You know, like I said, I apologize folks, you know, freaking stomach bugs. It, uh, it was no pun intended here, but it was quite literally a punch in the gut. It, uh, took the wind out of my sails, took the wind out of Jackson sails, you know, we're both feeling pretty rough for a few days there, but, uh, or at least a solid day we're feeling really rough, but, uh, <laughs> you, <laughs> So <laughs> anyhow, uh, feeling a lot better. Got some good sleep last night. So, uh, should be back to, uh, you know, full power here very shortly. Anyhow, um, I'm going to wrap that up for this week. Uh, I think next week we'll probably keep working on this tail pan. Just try to get it all done. Um, get it ready to go. Everything cut out, new metal put in, and then we'll come up here and work on the, uh, come up here and work on this head, head, panel front support thing so so that's what we're going to do next week i suppose is work on this back try to get this all knocked out and done and then maybe if there's time we can get to the front i don't know we'll see but i do appreciate y'all watching um it means a bunch y'all guys uh uh keep it up i'm really enjoying it keep throwing the comments out there i i, I like getting the comments i like getting the questions you know it's uh lets me know I'm doing doing something. <laughs> it, it may not always be right, and it may not always be pretty, but it's something. <laughs> so, um, but just remember, y'all. It uh, you don't have to, you know, know every little thing. I mean, like I said, uh, multiple times. I, this is the first time I've ever done anything this big. I've never done anything more than just screw some sheet metal down over a rust hole, and here we go. We're replacing the entire floor on this blazer. Uh, front pans you know they're in ish so got a couple little little spots to, to fill in on those and patch up um but uh for the front for the most part the front pans are done and then the uh the bed pan <laughs> the bed floor is uh it's coming along so uh uh hopefully we'll be done with that soon and then <laughs> and then more rust because i still got to deal with uh up here at the back of the cab and that's that's going to be fun. So that's a, uh, that's a whole different level right there. Cause that's like outside body work. And I'm just, uh, it terrifies me. Cause I'm like, I, I, I usually end up putting too much heat in the metal and it starts warping and 
just a nightmare. But anyways, I do appreciate y'all guys watching. And uh, tune in next week. We'll jump in on this blazer a little bit more. And uh, till then, y'all guys have a good one. And just remember, it ain't got to be perfect. Just good enough. We'll hire y'all later.